of you. Um, I got these back of makeup like three weeks ago from my friend Eva. Uh, she was in New York and you no, know, she was nice enough to pick up a lot of stuff for me because you know, a lot of these products we have no access to in Taiwan. So yeah, she was just kind enough to pick up a few things few things for me and I wanted to make a haul right after I got back you no know, to my to my study but just a lot happened uh, I have exam and I have my sister's wedding so I kind of postponed it and I couldn't help to use these products in these three weeks so I thought like well I haul these things I will also give you guys a little review and anyway, this is a elf bag. It's a really cute bag. And these are just a bag of good goodies. So let's dig in. Um, I want to first talk about brushes. Um, I got four elf studio brush. Um, so there's this is the angle eyeliner brush. Uh small this is the small staple brush this is the the angle blush brush and this is the contour brush so i want to talk about uh these two first the uh, eyeliner brush and the blush brush uh the blush brush um i quite like it but so far i've been using it as a contour brush uh it's quite it's very soft so the, for the price you really you know you can't complain. I use it as a contour brush and I haven't used it as a blush brush because for blush I actually prefer to use this kind this kind of bigger fluffier brush. Uh, it just works better for me. I just like do it. I like how it applies my blush and how soft it feels on my cheeks and how I can just like no, because it's big, you can blend your um, contouring or highlighter together. Anyway, um, I might use it as a blush brush later. Um, if it works well, then I'll update you guys in the next video. And the next thing is the angle brush. And no, the eyeliner. Angle eyeliner brush. <laughs> so. As you can see, it's um, it's it just there's a little twist, yep, and it has a very pointy end, so it's really good to to create a wing liners pointy end, and it's really different to all the eyeliner brush that I have ever used, cause I get uh, I got all my other eyeliner brush in Taiwan. In Taiwan it's this kind of brush that is way more you know popular. This is a this is a Kate brush. Uh, Kate is a Japanese drugstore brand that's quite famous in Taiwan. And I got this, this is a, I like this one. It's a good quality rather no okay quality brush. Um, but it's just it's the 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 way it's shaped is just not very good for you no know, having a pointy and kind of no eyeliner look. So so far I quite like this, but I'm sure there are better ones I really want to get. Uh, like I think Morphe has a good one, so I really want to try it. But right now this is working for me. And then small staple brush, staple brush. Um, I get this because I want to try to blend down my concealer with brush instead of like because I've been using my um, real technique sponge and it's working well. Uh, I now get another one after that one, you no know, breaks or something. But um, I just want to try using a brush. Now I can't figure out how I feel about it just yet. So I'll update you guys next time. And then there's this famous, you know, contour brush that it's been quite big. So it has like a front that's very flat, um, which is supposed to be like really 
you know, good for a precise blunt uh, contour line that you can create. And I've seen people use it for baking, like you just dip the brush in the product and it will pick up a lot since it's quite dense as you can see. And then you can just apply old product under your contour line or under your eye, um, which is good. And I haven't tried that because a lot's happening, as I said. So maybe um, I will someday and I'll let you guys know how it worked out. Okay, let's move on to um, have a foundation. All right, foundation. Here's two Fit Me foundation. Um, one is 120 Classic Ivory, another one is 220 Natural natural Beige. Um, I ha actually got my first foundation, the 121 in New Zealand. And on my way back to Taiwan, I visited my sister in Hong Kong and she has this amazing outdoor pool in her community so I just been going there like I was going there for quite a few days and I got super tan. So tan then there was a ridiculous tan line that you can even see it in the one with the photo on me on my Instagram. And then after I got back just like there's just like a huge color difference that you could not ignore. It. So I asked my friend to pick up this foundation because like for right now this is really my holy grail. It looks so good and it's just a gray line. Um, so I matched myself online and got this color T20 and it's, I think it's my perfect shade and I'm really waiting for my tan to kind of fade so I can start using my T20 because I have two bottles of it. Anyway, gray foundation. I love it. Um, nothing to complain. And the base, oh, yeah, there's another Maybelline prop, the H Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Um, I haven't opened it because I have a few other concealers I'm currently using and I don't really want to waste. Not waste, I just don't want to have many, so many products that open that I, I can use them. And it just, I don't like how it feels. So I'm waiting for my one my concealer to run out, and then I can finally open it. Uh, I tried it a couple times when I was visiting my friend. It, I like how it looks. It's not too light, and it's not. It's quite natural. So you no, know, I want to see how I feel about it. You no, know, using it for a long time. So we'll see. And uh, let's see. Oh, face. I got two face palettes from Elf. Uh, their contour palette and their blush palette, and these are both really good for apply. I really like them, and they're so cheap. Um, to open the blush palette, so there are the first thing. It comes with oh my god, this is so mm, all right. They have this huge mirror. Like, it's just so big. It's so convenient. And there are four colors, uh, only one has shimmer in it, this one, and this one's like a lighter pink, a darker pink, and then this is a brown, a little bit brown, orange color. Let me try to swatch them. Oh yeah, you can see it, so let me swatch them all for you. And they are very pigmented, very pigmented. Alright, so as you can see, this is the orangey one. Um, this is the actually the brighter pink one. And this is their darker one. This is the one with a uh, bit orangey red and with a little shimmer. Uh, you can't really see it because my max camera is not exactly you know, the best. But you no, know, you can see how pigmented these blush are. And they're, they work, they just work really well. And they like blend out really nicely. And there's just nothing you can complain about it. Um, next thing I want to talk about the contour palette. And 
maybe swatch them. So, the contour palette. Again, with a really big mineral. So good. And there are four colors, uh, the contour color, the blush, um, not blush, the bronzing color, uh, highlight color, and then there's shimmer highlight. So there's, it's like, I think, I personally, I think like these four are just, just enough to you know, highlight contour your face. Um, um, for me, I don't really need anything else. Well, if this um, little yellow, you no know, tone co highlight color is really good for your under eye because you no, know, this is the part where like for me, I have my pores and like shown right like or here, so I really don't want to put shimmer on it to accentuate it. So this would be great for the under eye highlight, and this with a slight shimmer. Yeah, this would just be a great highlight for your you no know, bridge of the nose and your brow bone, your cheekbone. I didn't use it today, but no, you can see how it would be a great one. I want to you no know, swatch the see. It's still a uh, light. It still highlights your skin, but it doesn't has a shimmer. As I said, yeah. So. Great palette, great product, love it. Um, move on to oh, another Elf product. I'm sure you all know this product. Um, it's a great product. Eye, their eyebrow kits. I already used it. I've been using it for the past three weeks. I just put them back in the box to show you guys. Um, I like the packaging as well. It's right. And look nice, not doesn't get dirty very easily, so it's great. Uh, I only have one complaint about this product is that um, using the wax part so much faster than the powder part, so it just no it doesn't make sense to me. I already like I already hit pen on the wax part, and I can barely see the like there is there was barely you can barely see how I use this one the powder one. I don't understand the design of like the portions of each product. Like there, I feel like there should be more of the wax part instead, and not like just like, both the same side. Um, but so far, I like this product, and I would definitely repurchase it. And but like, I actually haven't tried another wax brow product, so I can't really give you a comparison. But so far, this one's working you know, pretty well for me. Um, move on to eye. So, I got Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. Um, I have three, I got like three of their palettes because I saw these three and on their web page and I was trying to decide like no I can't they're all different colors how can I decide how can I choose oh hi hi sweetie hey it's my cat so like I was like how can I choose I can't no they're not the same color so after the kind of prize I decide to get an all <laughs> yeah because they're just also different they're you, you can, yeah, but anyway, I got all three of their pounds, which makes me really happy. Um, the payoff is, I like the color payoff, um, because I won't be asking too much from them since they are so cheap. I like how they're like, the matches the color, and it's really cool that they have like, the colors, like, they kind of like, label the color and tell you what to do on the back of the palette, so it's really good. And... Light little light like, packaging. Like, it's really, you know, eco friendly. And, um, what else? I've been playing around with. I actually did a look on this palette, but this is a brand new one because I got 
one exactly the same from my box swap. So I've just been using my box swap one and this one I'll probably just give it to a friend or sell it or something. But I just, I love this palette and I actually did my makeup look with this one. Um, you can't really see the color, like it's more, you know, clearer in person or I, maybe I'll just take a photo later. Uh, but good palettes. They're good. I like it. And one while, wow, that's one well pro. Is this? They're so, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm whispering because I'm just. This is so good. I I cannot contain my excitement. I just I can. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> When I first apply it on my cheekbone, I immediately just went, yes, yes, sister, that's it. Hey, yeah, just yeah, so beautiful. Oh, look at the pigmentation. Do you get this? Oh my god. So good. Oh, so good. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yes. Actually, no, I want to put a little bit on my cheekbone right now. Because it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. Okay. Yeah, um, put it under my eyes because I can't really see. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. And I was so lucky because my friend only saw it once. And every other time she goes to the mall, she cannot see it again. So. We were pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky. Thank you. Um, so, last thing. Last but not least. This. It's the Sephora eyelash curl that has a lot of story with me. A lot of history. Well, not a lot of history. Not with this particular one. Um, I love their eyelash curl. I don't know. I haven't seen more people talk about them. And I just don't know. Because uh, I got my years ago um i think my sister gave it to me she she didn't like it so she gave it to me and the first time i tried it was like amazing oh my god how is this so good and yeah i just fell in love with it ever since and i remember three years ago when my sister was coming back for ta to taiwan for good i asked her i i messaged her messaged her and saying that Oh please, could you please please bring me some stuff? You know, since you're coming back for good, and like five of the Sephora eyelash curler, please. Mhm, mm five of it. And she, she just asked like, why do you need so many? And it's like, cause this is so good. But then she came back with nothing. Thank you, sister. But yeah, thanks to Eva, I was able to get it again. <laughs> just. You have no idea how hard I, I look. Um, beginning of this year, I went to Singapore, my boyfriend, and I didn't really want to like go to Singapore because we were going to uh, Bali right after Singapore. The original plan was just like we're gonna like transfer there and not gonna stay, but I we end up staying for three days because I want to meet my friend and there's Sephora there. And I went there. I went to Sephora. I saw there was an eyelash curl on the like, like their like table where like the mirror that you can uh, try on makeup, and I saw an eyelash curl there. I was like, oh my god, I'm so excited! And then I asked the the girl who works there, and that they, they say they they don't really sell it there. They just know have it there to show people. Why? Why would you play with people's feeling like that? That's just not right, girl. So anyway, I try, but then eventually my my girl get it for me, and 
I my last one actually looked quite different from this one, but I don't have it with me right now, so I can't really show you. But no, you can just kind of see how well it fits your eye, you know. At least mine. So it's not pretty. Don't like that. But yeah, it just fits your like the eye shape so well. The like the angle of this. And it's gold. It's a gold eyelash curve. It's gold and pretty. It's so pretty and works so well. Like what? I'm expecting them. I'm expecting Sephora to you know make an eyelash curve with glitters cover all over them or something like that. No, I'm sure they can somehow make it happen. I'm just waiting for the days to come, and then I can cry over my like computer screen because I can never get it. Yeah, that's my cat. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is the last one. And this is everything. Uh thank you for watching and thank you, Eva, for getting all this goodie for me. Just so grateful. Um I hope you all have a nice day and no, maybe share your opinions about these pearls with me. Comment down below. Goodbye.